the widespread burning of fossil fuels is causing a rise in atmospheric CO2. Limiting CO2 and other agricultural greenhouse gases, such as methane, is important in managing the effects of climate change. Engineers are trying to develop techniques for capturing CO2 from the exhaust streams of power stations and then pumping it into porous underground formations to stop it accumulating in the air. The pilot project is located in Australia's southeastern state of Victoria. Here, CO2 from a nearby gas well is being injected into a layer of sandstone. And we know there are rocks down there that's going to seal it in. We know that there are rocks down there that are going to hold it like it, water's held in a sponge. So in other words, it's not going to leak out. We're very confident of that. The storage part of the process does seem feasible. And if the capture of carbon dioxide can be done in an economical way, the world's coal industry could drastically cut its CO2 output. But there are still a lot of technical problems to be solved. In Britain, at the Hatfield Colliery, they're planning a gasification plant that will work with a new 900 megawatt power station to be built on the site. It will capture 90% of its own carbon emissions. We can have it ready by 2014, but clearly we need the energy policy which will support the additional cost, because to put on the CCS is a cost more than the actual power station itself. So therefore we need to get the recompense to pay for that additional expenditure. Owners of older power stations are waiting to see whether their technology is practical and economical. If carbon capture can be made to work, it will provide a fast track to reduced emissions.